APIs have become the building blocks of our modern economy, but what is an API? Well, before we dive into the software answer to that question, I think it's first helpful to understand the idea of an API existed even before the technology itself. See, in the 1940s, there were British computer scientists working at the University of Cambridge who had created a library catalog of notes for the early computers that they were working with. This catalog was a guide for incorporating pre-written instructions into a new program, and we can think of that catalog as the first physical version of what we now might call an API. It's a set of rules that allows one piece of software to talk to another. Now, the letters API stand for Application Programming Interface, but that doesn't really tell us much, does it? I think the simplest way to think about an API is to think of it like a waiter in a restaurant. When you go to a restaurant, you don't walk into the kitchen to tell the chef what you want. You have a menu of options and you give your order to the waiter. The waiter then takes the request to the kitchen, which prepares your food, and the waiter brings it back to you. The waiter in this situation is acting as a messenger. It allows you to get what you need from the kitchen without needing to understand the inner workings of the restaurant. That's exactly what an API does for software. Think about the weather app on your phone. The app itself doesn't know the weather. It needs to ask a much larger, more complex system, like a national weather service. The app sends a request through an API asking for weather in your location. The API, like the waiter, takes that request to the weather services system. The system finds the answer, and the API delivers it back to your app, which then displays it for you. APIs are the invisible messengers that connect our digital world. They allow different applications from different companies to talk to each other in a secure and standardized way. They are the reason that your airline app can connect to the hotel booking service, or your ride-sharing app can use a map that was built by a totally different company. They're the fundamental building blocks that allow businesses to create the connected experiences that we all rely on every day. And just as waiters can follow different service styles, some very formal, some more casual. APIs have different architectural styles based on the environment that they're built for. REST, SOAP, and GraphQL are all different sets of rules for how the requests and responses are structured. And the information is typically formatted in a lightweight data format called JSON, which is easy for both humans and machines to read. And to build these APIs, developers use a variety of programming languages, with some of the most common being Python and Java.